Hi, I'm Anna Valentine from The Veggie Tree. Today we're going to be making tasty tempeh nuggets with a delicious Mare tomato sauce, brown rice and bok choy. I love this dish because it's versatile, tasty and really easy to make. Tempeh is a delicious ingredient to use. It's really nutritious as well, so it's a really nice way to get it into the kids and the family. So we're going to start with the tamari tomato sauce. Take uh, one red onion or a shallot. Cut the onion straight in half and then peel off the skin. Put the flat side down on the board and cut the top off there, off both of them. So we've still got it holding together at the bottom of the onion there. And we're going to make small cuts, not all the way through. And then turn it on the side and then the other way. Okay, so we're going to start off with cooking the onion. We want to put a couple of tablespoons of uh, rice bran oil, and this has um, toasted sesame oil already mixed into it. So I'll pop it on a medium-high heat. About a couple of tablespoons of ginger and the garlic. We're going to pop that into the pan. Okay, so now we're going to deglaze the pan with a little bit of mirin, which is Japanese cooking wine. So that's just going to get any little bits that have stuck on the pan off and give it a really lovely flavour. Stir that through. And then we're going to add our 400 mils of either tomato passata or a can of tomatoes. Our tamari soy sauce. Our peanut butter. And a little bit of manuka honey for sweetness. So we're going to stir that all through and then we'll keep that there on a nice gentle simmer while we get on to the rest of the dish. So I've already rinsed the brown rice, I'm just going to pop that in there in the pot. It's a short grain brown rice so I'm going to pop the water in there along with it and some salt. We want to put our lid on. And we're going to bring this to the boil first and then take it down to a simmer. Okay, so onto the tempeh nuggets. We want to start off with putting the water into the ground flax seeds to make our flax egg. So we're going to have got two tablespoons of ground flax seeds in there and we're going to put a quarter of a cup of water in. And then just leave that to absorb on the bench while we grate our tempeh. It's like a veggie brain. Really, really tasty fermented soybean product. It's really, really good for us because it's fermented, made out of whole soybeans. Always make sure it's organic. So we're just going to take this and grate it on our grater. It's got a really nice umami, savoury kind of flavour. It's quite meaty for a, um, for a vegetarian protein. So I'll pop our ginger in the bowl. I've also got some onion weed, which is my favourite edible wild herb that grows in our lawn. You could also use um, spring onions instead of the onion weed. And they're all part of the Allium family, so they're really good for you at this time of the year, as well as the ginger in these nuggets. So now the rice has come to the boil, so we're just going to check. Yep, and then we want to turn that rice down to really low so that it's just going to steam in there. So now we're going to add the brown rice flour and sesame seeds to the mix. And now we're going to put a flax egg in there, last off. So this is going to stick it all together. And it actually works better than an egg, the flax egg for this. It sticks them together really nicely. So for our salty element, we're going to pop some more tamari sauce in there. And now we'll stir it through. And then we're going to put a little bit of oil on our hands just to stop the mixture sticking. Use the spoon to draw the mix up the side of the bowl. Pop it onto your hand. Kind of, kind of squish it together into a ball and then flatten it out. This is the part where you can get the kids to come in and help. Okay. So we're just going to check the rice because I can, I can hear it. it, must be getting almost there. So I'm going to turn that off and let it steam there for 10 minutes. 
Okay, we're gonna cook our nuggets now. So we wanna put a good amount of oil in our pan. Because there's no fat in the tempeh, you do need to add a little fat to the pan. Um, so we've got our rice bran and toasted sesame oil mixed there. So we're gonna get this, this pan heated up nice and hot. The great thing about plant-based proteins is that you get to add as much and what kind of oil or fat that you would like to. So I really love infusing the rice bran oil, which is a really clean cooking oil with not very much flavour, with the toasted sesame, which is jam-packed with, with flavour. They cook very, very quickly, so we just want to get a nice brown colour on each side. And with cooking plant-based proteins, you always want to let them sear before you turn them. I'm going to give the sauce a little stir, and it's really nice and thick now. So that's beautiful, that's exactly what we're after. So that's the colour we're looking for. Nice and golden brown. So we're going to do our bok choy now. I love bok choy because it's really juicy, juicy stalks and it really doesn't take very long to cook. So we're just going to pop that in straight into our hot pan. And now we're just going to put some more um, mirin on there just to give it a little bit of liquid and flavour. I'm going to pop that lid on. Give it a couple of little shakes with the lid on. That will create some steam. Okay, so we're just going to check our rice. Give it a stir with a fork. Pop some of the sauce on the plate for dipping. Do a little pull through. Okay. So our bok choy will be done. Let's give it one last stir through. And add a little kiss of tamari. Add our bok choy to the plate. A little bit of space for our rice. All right, so there we have it. Our tempeh nuggets with tamari, tomato sauce, wilted bok choy and brown rice.